Welcome to Mathematics Pro. So today we are going to solve the first question of GCE 2021. So our first question here, question 1a, we are asked to simplify this. So let's get started. So looking at this question, right, we can see that we have ax square and we have a minus and we have b square y square so we can call it the difference this is the difference mm -hmm. of two square so we are going to use the formula of difference of two square to solve this problem so what is the formula of difference of two square so the formula of difference of two square and if we have a square minus b square is the same as a plus b and a minus b so this formula we can apply it in daily life for example if we have like five square minus um let me say three square normally five square is 25 minus 9 25 minus 9 is equal to 16. so but if we use the formula of difference of two square five square minus 3 square this is our a and this is b so the formula say a plus b so this is a and this is b so the formula say a plus b so a plus b 5 plus 3 bracket a minus b 5 minus 3 so if we simplify this we are going to have this will give us 8 and if we subtract this, we are going to have 2. If we multiply them together, we are going to have 16. So we can see that this formula is true and we can use it in daily life to multiply equations involving a difference of 2 squared. So let's move on to our question, which is to simplify that. Okay, so looking at our question, so we can quickly identify that here we have two letters which is a square and x square so we are going to try to make it to be one or square so we can use the principle of exponent to do that so this can be written as a x or square is the same thing minus this can also be written as b y square so we have divided by ax plus by. So we can use the principle of difference of two square here. We can call this a and we can call this b. Don't forget our formula a plus b, a minus b. So using that we are going to have this is our a which is ax. So we have ax plus b which is plus b y bracket we have a x which is a minus b a is a x minus b is b y all we have all divided by a x plus b y so looking at this we can see that um, what is common here on both sides can we can um, simplify that so we have ax plus b will cancel ax plus b so our answer for this question is equals to ax minus by so let's move to the next question 1b given the geometry progression we have 4, the first term is 4, the second term is 2, and the third is 1. So we are asked to find the seventh term. So for a geometric progression, the formula for n term is, we can use Tn is the same as A R N minus 1. Now A is the first term, so A is the first term. R is a common ratio. 
so r is the common ratio and n is the represented number of term so in this case we are asked to look for the seventh term so this means n is seven so now looking at this formula and this term so this means our a a is equals to four n is equals to seven and we have what we call the common ratio. So the common ratio R, R is the same as the second term. You can write it the same as the second term divided by the first term. Okay. Or you can also write as the third term. So R is also the same as the third term divided by the second term. So it's equal. So if you have 4, 2, 1, let us say this is T1, T2, and T3. So when you are looking for N, you can say T3 divided by T2. So if we start with T2, it's also the same as T2 divided by T1. So it's the same thing. So let's continue with our equation to calculate the value so t and so we are looking for the seventh term so we are going to write t7 should be equals to a our first term is 4 then if we follow the formula r r is half so we have half and we have n again minus 1 so n is 7 7 minus 1 is 6 so here's going to be 6 so you are going to solve this with the calculator or without the calculator so this will be the same as 4 if we use some principles and in indices we can share this power so this will be 1 to the power 6 it will remain 1 and 2 to the power 6 so t7 is the same as 4 1 um, 2 to the power 6 is 64 have 64 1 times 4 we have 4 divided by 64 so this is the same as 1 over 16 or you can use your calculator to do this if you use your calculator you are going to have t7 will be equal to 0 0.0625 so that was the seventh term so this is our answer for the seventh term so let's calculate the sum of the nine term. So we are going to look for use the formula for sum of the nine term. So for the formula of sum of the nine term, we are going to have S N equals to a bracket 1 minus rn all over 1 minus r we will use this formula when r is less than 0 is less than 1 you can use this formula when r is less than 1 so since r r is equals to half so this formula is suitable so using uh, this formula we just plug in the value we know we know already we know a a is four and we say r is half we are asked to calculate the sum of the nine term the sum of the first nine terms so we can call n to be equal to nine so the sum of the ninth term the first nine term so will be equals to a so we are going to have four bracket one minus half to the power nine over one minus half so if we move further sum of the ninth term first nine term will be equals to you need to use your calculator here 
to simplify this first so if you use your calculator we left with here 4 this is also the same as 1 if we put this here we are going to have 1 2 to the power 9 is 2 512 1 minus half means half so you can use your calculator so normally if we move further we are going to have s to the ninth so this will give us 4 we are going to multiply this times 1 and we minus 1 so this is also the same as 511 divided by 512 over half normally if you want to have this this is approximately equals to to one so we are going to have four, this is supposed to equal to one four divided by half which is the same as eight so this is approximately equals to eight but if you use your calculator in two decimal place the sum of the first nine term will give you seven point nine eight okay so when you're using your calculator make sure you simplify you simplify the bracket first then you multiply times four and so on okay so let's move to question 1c so for question 1c you are asked to find the geometry mean okay so you are asked to look for the geometry mean so the formula of geometry mean okay if we have like a b c the mean represent the one in the middle the average so the formula for geometric mean you can call it gm is equals to the square root of a c so this represent a and this is our c so if we have gm So we are going to have 196 times 15,625. Normally you are going to use your calculator. If you use your calculator, you multiply this with your calculator. This will give you 3,062,000. So the square root of this, so geometry means will be equal to 1750 okay so thanks for watching let's move to the next question